Hi Stampers, it's Nancy Novak back again with another video using the Thoughtful Branches stamp set and the coordinating die sets. Again, if you are interested in purchasing this, visit my blog. I have a Shop Now button or whenever I post a video of any of my cards, down at the bottom of my post I have pictures of all the supplies that I've used and all you need to do to purchase is click on one of those products and it takes you right to my online store. So it's very easy, very safe. And remember, this is only available till August 31st. So if you like it, you better jump on it. Also, remember, I have all these videos I've been doing all week. So if, you have, if you've missed one, go back and check it out. And I'm excited to talk to you today about today's card that we are going to make. It's a Christmas card and it's so pretty. And I think what really makes this card so pretty is this designer series paper. This designer series paper is called This Christmas, and it's just so soft, nostalgic, beautiful, beautiful paper. I just love it, so I really wanted you to see it. So you can take a quick peek here, and it's double-sided, so you got all this pretty paper, two sides. I, look at this, the, the music sheet, isn't that pretty? Anyway, I just wanted you to take a little gander at this because it just deserves its own spotlight. It's beautiful. I love it. So anyways, on, with, on to today's card. Ooh, that's a pretty, pretty, beautiful. Just love it. So today's card, Christmas card. It's using very vanilla. And I am actually using today Cucumber Crush as my mat and the designer series paper and a couple of scraps. And, and also I have Cherry Cobbler, which I ran through this Holly embossing folder. This is a new folder out this year. It's really nice. So it added this pretty texture onto this little piece that we're going to adhere to our card. So let me give you the dimensionals real quick. So we got very vanilla eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. We have cucumber crush five and a quarter by four. We have our designer series paper five and three and three quarter. We have the little cherry cobbler, which is two and three and three quarter. The green, which is three and seven eighths by one and seven eighths and the vanilla stamping piece, which is three and three quarter by one and three quarter. So the first thing I am going to do is stamp my image. And I am using two, two stamps. I'm using the tree trunk and the branches. The tree trunk I'm going to stamp in chocolate chip. Ink up our pad and just put it right in the center. I think I'm going to leave a little space up at the top. I want to add the little star. There we go. And then I'm going to bring in Cucumber Crush. You know what? I think I'm going to do that over. I'm going to do it over. That's why I have two sides. I just want it centered a little bit better. That's better. Okay, so now I have my Cucumber Crush and I'm gonna stamp the branches. So it's so easy to see with the polymer stamps. There we go. And on this one, I did a little yellow or gold star but I think on this one, I'm going to do Cherry Cobbler. Just because I want to mix it up, and I think the Cherry Cobbler will look pretty with the other little Cherry Cobbler in here. So I'm just going to stamp a little star at the top. Perfect. Oh, I like that. And now, all we need to do is assemble it. So we'll bring in my card base. Score it at four and a quarter. And I'll put these two pieces together first. So I hope you're enjoying all these videos I'm making using this thought, the thoughtful branches because I'm really enjoying making them, having a good time. Now we're going to adhere this piece to the card base. As always, leave me any comments 
any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. And I'm going to put this piece right there. That little embossing just adds that little extra touch that really sets your card off, makes it pretty. And then I'll attach this to the green. I'll tell you a little secret. Um, this designer series paper is has cherry cobbler, very vanilla, and um, green. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. But I didn't use the, it's Garden Green. I used Cucumber Crush. Now either one is fine. And this one I did use Garden Green. I think I ran out of Garden Green, but this Cucum Cucumber uh, Crush is so vibrant. I think it's really pretty. So I used it for my card today. And again, this little green piece that I'm putting it on just has a 1 8 inch border. And the reason I wanted it was because this designer series paper is so pretty. I wanted to show off as much of it as I could. So I have on the back of here dimensionals. So I'm going to pop this piece up. And we are done. Now I did not put a sentiment on this card because I just think it's beautiful and we can put a real pretty sentiment on the inside. One more thing I want to add is a little gold bow. So let me see if I can find my glue dots. And I have a glue dot or a bow already made. So I'm just smooshing that glue dot down so it fits my little bow. And I'm adding it right there. And it's done. So let's recap really quick. Let's look at a few of the other cards that we made in this video series. We started off with the happy card, which focused on all of the in colors. Very pretty and happy with a little thank you. Then we have the thankful fall card, and I have it in two versions. One with the big uh, die cut thankful, and another one improvised with whatever sentiment you may have on hand. This would also look cute if you embossed it in gold. It'd look pr really pretty. Then we did the You're In My Thoughts, which is gold embossed on the soft sky. And then we did this fun card, which is the pumpkin. I just love this one. I think it's so innovative and just different. I really like it a lot. It's got the little embossing right at the top. And I made this one a couple weeks ago. I, I made a video. You may have seen that. This is my pretty big pink flower card. So a lot of options out there. So if you are interested, jump over to my blog and hit the shop now button or you can always contact me if you have questions. I love hearing from you. I love your comments. So I hope you liked my video. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.